85. Channel 85. Channel 85. I bet you hope those aliens bursting out of your guts was only science fiction. Welcome to Scientific Station. I'm Brendan Crawwell. Parasitoid wasps are nature's answer to science fiction aliens bursting out of our bodies. They're little tiny wasps that fly around and lay their eggs on top of other insects. When the eggs hatch, they burrow inside the insect, eating its guts while it's alive. And when they are good and ready and mature, they burst out of the insect, usually killing it as full-grown wasps. And then they fly off and repeat the cycle over and over and over. These wasps live for about two weeks, so this cycle is constantly happening somewhere in the world. There are hundreds of thousands of species of these wasps, and thankfully they mostly only, they only infect insects and don't really bother us. Now, when they burst out of the insect, they kill it. So, scientists have realized for quite some time now that they could use these wasps to kill bugs that are eating our plants in our farms that where we're trying to get food. It's an effective means of uh, killing the insect because it targets the particular insect. Uh, and if it can be controlled, it's really effective. Uh, recently, uh, four species of these wasps have had their complete genome deciphered. Now, the genome is the DNA that every living organism has inside its cells. And that DNA tells what the insect or what the organism is going to be like. And for the scientists to have the complete genome of these four par uh, parasitoid wasps, it's going to help them understand how the wasps function a whole lot better. And this is going to definitely help with agriculture as we need to better understand these relationships between the wasp and their pests. But also, now that this uh, these species of wasps have had their genome uh, completed. This makes them what scientists call a model organism. We can study all aspects of the way the wasp lives, but also look at the DNA that influences how this wasp lives and what it does. And understanding that can give us information that we can use on other species and help us understand genetics in all kinds of organisms. Specifically, Having this information is going to help us with complex trait analysis when we're looking at DNA in other organisms where we're not quite sure how it works. We can use our information of these wasps that we understand really well now to understand that. And also looking at developmental and evolutionary genetics. For more information, visit scientificstation.com.